Okay, okay, okay. So, what we do now, we are working on bagpipes and whistles. My mate Christian was in. Um, my mate Christian was in last week or a couple of weeks ago. And um, we got some of that stuff to work on. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to open Pro Tools. We're going to pause. Astrid, thank you very much, Astrid, for the intro music. Appreciate it. Okay. So this is what it sounds like. So we we had three microphones on it. We had a uh, KM a Neumann KM eighty four. We had an Omni Dynamic, and we had an SM seven B. So that feels very loud. I had L2 on it. Uh, put it back. Bag pipes. Okay, so we've got a we've got a kick here, giving tempo, but and a click. So here's the kick and the click. But we don't need that. We need uh, we need to get it looping around twice without um, slowing. For example, it starts, it kind of ramps up to speed. Once I unsolo. And then it kind of gets into it. And we are working on Christian McDonald. There you go. That gives you an idea what we're doing. <laughs> so let's hear that. That that starts a bit slow, and then he's in he's in time there. So let's try. I'm gonna click solo here in this playlist and listen to the other one. Much better. Great. Yep. Cool. I'm just listening to see if I need to replace any parts it's all fine Also good. This one might be good to go without any edits. Hopefully. I'll take so I'm only going to work on the KM84 for the for the pipes uh, thank you very much for the like William how you doing so I just need to fix that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these three and I'm going to start them at the same time um, see this start point here I'm just going to drag it to the start point here it's on grid, so it should be easy to do. Uh, 
Maybe it's the next one because that take started kind of slowly. Negative. Ah, slowly, so it would be. I had it right the first time. So I'm going to find the error and I'm just going to take it from this other take. There she is. So um, I can just take this part here and split it and bring it up, see what that sounds like. Bang on. So let's put this up into the main position. I recorded these mics too, but I don't think I need these mics. I'm just gonna put a tiny little crossfade, just so it doesn't click anywhere down the line. Cool. Well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some reverb on it because it'll make it more it'll make it easier to uh, listen to. <laughs> so I'm just making our reverb aux channel. I'm gonna choose the inputs, uh, just plus one and two. Choose a reverb Valhalla room. It doesn't need to be anything special, so we're just gonna keep the default reverb. Lift this up. There we go. So let's listen to the rest. Make sure it's all good. Another wee issue there. So I'm just going to take this section here and replace there. So basically replacing one take with another, but just a tiny wee section of it. Hmm. Is that the same? Let's find out. Hmm, that's slightly different. <laughs> Christian must have got a bit confused, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, thanks for the like, Anne. So let's... Let's stay It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be redoing the redoing the pipes once the rest of the production's done. Now I'm finding the pipes a wee bit piercing on my headphones. It might be perfect once the rest is there, but at the moment I'm going to put a multiband compressor on. This is Wave C4, and you'll see here, like the low bass, the low mid, the high mid, and the treble high frequencies here, they come down um, based on the volume level. So it kind of smooths it out a bit. It's better. <laughs> okay. So let's find the beginning of that part. Da -da -da. And then we're going to select the solo here to listen to this purple one. And we're looking for da da da.
Da, da, da. Yeah, it's the same. So, up it goes. And this should have a better ending. Uh, thank you very much for the like, Michelle. How are you getting on? What are you up to today? Anything fun? So, I'm selecting these clips and pressing Control M, basically mutes it, and they go grey, which basically, it just reminds me I'm working on this and none of this. Okay, the next one is called Big Kenny Whiteside, and let's see how that sounds. Not bad, Keith. Bonnie day up here in Keith Ness, just chilling today. Hope you're all good in it. Is the weather nice? Wow! It's lovely out there. Stuck in here. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a nice sunny day wherever they are. This this take seems this take seems fine to me, to be honest. I'm just listening for any like major errors. Um I think that's where everyone is. Grace Beach looks packed. Good. I'm glad. Getting some vitamin D. That's what we need. Well done, Christian. Okay, that's two ready to go. I'm going to export them once we check the others. So, I think there's three with pipes and two with whistles. Four with pipes, two with whistles. Wow, he, he did really well. This is very exciting. <laughs> hey, you guys want to? You guys want to rave? That better? Jump, 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 jump. Uh, hey, Lewis, had to go there back now. Recording sounding great. Here's a question: Have you ever used octavas on pipes? Yes, I have. Um, it depends what kind of sound you're looking for with what mic you choose. If you wanted to be angry and cutting through a lot of stuff, Octavus would be great. But if you're wanting a traditional and wooden, not a good choice. But yeah, I use them quite a lot. Like, see this one here? I, I use the Neumann KM84s. They're, they're like a forward mic, but not piercing. I, I, I like I like the mix of that. They're kind of ready to go, but they're not like overly bright and ruined. And I chose that. Normally, I'd use a ribbon on on pipes if I wanted it to sound really natural, but I chose this mic because there's going to be a lot of production on it, so this will keep it front steady and forward, ready to rock and roll. It's a really lovely tune. 
as long as he doesn't mess up the last bit. Good to go. Okay. Next one, nameless number one. That's actually not the name. He doesn't have a name yet. So these are Christian tunes. So I love that. Looks like we had a few few takes getting this one right. This is my ticket well. I didn't like the start. I'm gonna see if I can nick a start from one of the other ones. Nope. 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 <laughs> Come on, Christian, give me a good give me a start. Nope. It's better. No. No. I'm listening for the less squeak. It's tough because this was the last thing we did with the pipes and they were getting a wee bit a wee bit uh a wee bit of moisture on them. I think that's the best one. So what I'm doing is I'm just copying that little piece of audio there. I'm gonna plunk it on the beginning of this instead. And hopefully that'll sound better. <laughs> Christian. Um, anything else you would recommend a way to record pipes next week I'm looking putting up an RB500 on the chanter or to have it on the drones yeah yeah that's a nice mix man that's a nice mix yeah I've I've used them exact mics many times for pipes so you're in you're in good company there you'd be really happy with that good shade. Um, it's beautiful in Danun today. What's your bit up to? Yeah, it's lovely here too, apparently. <laughs> that looks kind of yellow there, that wee corner. <laughs> That's how I know it's sunny. That's how I know it's sunny. I can't even cycle home today because my bike's at home. I can't cycle um I can't cycle home until I cycle in. And I can't cycle in this week because I'm working early every day. I need to have not have a client in the morning so I can take my time <laughs> to cycle in because I'm rubbish at cycling. Hello Liam. How are you? But I've been good the last wee while. I've been not eating until I get hungry and then not overeating that's a good show I might walk home and then I've been exercising on the bike quite a bit but you know what I hate my bike I hate my bike I want a better bike I feel like I'm cycling through treacle I don't know if there's like Good. You're good. Nice one. I'm good too. Okay, that'll do for just now. Um, yeah, Lewis, you'll do fine, mate. You'll do fine. You will. Full faith. Okay, so that's the pipes done. And we'll export them in a second. But now we've got to look at the whistles. And for the whistle... We use the SM7B, this one down here. I had three mics set up and I recorded with all three mics just in case there was some magic from another mic in another part of the room. But there doesn't need to be because these are only scratch tracks for the, the people making the rest of the music. Let's get some... Uh, so I'm just going to drag this. If you see up here, this is the bus send to the reverb. And here's the reverb plugin, giving us two seconds of decay. Nothing else really matters at the moment. And I'm just going to drag that along to the 
SM7B so we can get a wee bit of reverb on the whistle as well. Okay, so you can see here, he started at slightly different points for the two takes. So I'm just going to put them together because I want to take some of the bits out of this one and put it on here. What Christian was uh, a wee bit concerned about was if he breathes harder on the whistle, it gets a bit pitchy or squeaky and it's hard to control, especially after he's been playing pipes. Sometimes you need to sit down and chill out, but he was, you know, playing the pipes for ages, then hopped straight onto it. So if there's any awkward bits on this take, I'm going to check in this take to see if we can nab it from that. Like that. That's a bit. So I'm just grabbing the bits that look good. See this? Because th there was like a breath here. What I'll do is I'll get rid of this because we're not using it at all I'll do that so you can see better so um, you can see like there's a wee breath here which sounds like this and then uh, it's a bit pitchy here because he's bringing the breath back in but he's not breathing in this take until here so let's grab this stuff and bring it up and see if it sounds any better nice and he took a breath at a different time here, which is handy. So we'll just nab that too. And you can hear there's a wee glitch here. So I'm just going to see if we can crossfade that. Bang in. I think the main issues is, are when he takes a breath and comes back onto it. The pitch kind of goes up or it goes down. It's hard to, to get to get it level quickly. Let's go check that's the right notes. Yes. It's hard with tunes you've not really heard before too. Sometimes you get lost in a repeating parts in, in a loop. I think the first part and the second part are very similar in this tune as well. So I get a wee bit last sometimes. So I could double check. So I blend that together a bit better. Let's choose that part. It's working well. One thing I noticed was the mic position was about halfway up the, the whistle. And when he moved, you get a wee bit of phasing because some signs coming out of the bottom of the whistle, some signs coming out of the top and they hit the microphone at different times. So uh, I've never really experienced that before. I'm kind of hearing it now. I heard it when we were recording, but because of COVID, I didn't want to go through and mess with it. Especially for, for this, because it's a scratch track. This isn't the, the final, but it's just something i got to keep in my mind now. Recording whistles to, to have the mic right at the top, I think, is the way to go. That's a big breath. <laughs> Maybe we can nick this breath. Seems a bit not as big. I wonder if we want that ending or if we want. No, we want da 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 da. Sometimes you're thinking about what sounds more natural for. 
for the production. All right. Biggie David Small. Hey, look at you with the emotes, you clever boy. Look at you with the cool emotes. How you doing today? All right, Davey boy. <laughs> so this is, this one's called I Want A Gin Now. <laughs> and I think you have to say it in an angry, in an angry kind of way. I want a gin. No. Same to be honest. What are you on the day, Davy? When Chris Chan goes down to the low notes, you can you can hear the phasing of it. If you if you know what to listen for. It's a really nice second part to this tune. Just sings. Just tidying up last bits for the RCS nonsense. Ooh. It's a lot harder doing most of it at home. I'd find it hard to be motivated, I think. Percent of the motivation, yeah. Tricky. What happens here? <gasps> okay, so now I've got to learn this tune. <laughs> Maybe I'll find another different second part. So second, Just putting the marker down. So we're looking for da 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 That's got to be the same part. That's got to be the same part, Christian. So I like... I like the first half, but we need to fix the second half. So let's just drag it to like there. See what that sounds like. That works. I'm going to do a crossfade here so it doesn't click. See before, you heard this click. So let's get rid of that, and then you can double click it, and then choose equal power, so that the volume doesn't dip down. Working? Cool. Happy, 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 happy. So, this is tricky. How do we deliver this? We've got to do... We gotta take the reverb out first of all. That's not that's none of our business. That was just a bit of crack for us. And it's in mono. So what I think I'll do is just to keep stuff really simple, I'm going to put the kick on one side and the microphones on the other. That way it's 
awful to listen to. But once the next person that works on this gets it, they've got a left and a right channel. So they can just have two channels, one of the click and one of the tune. So they can just use this click if they want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that works. And I was clever enough to write down the names. So what I'm going to do as well is after the names, I'm going to write down the BPM that they recorded at. So the next person that works on this can put the, the BPM, the beats per minute on their project. Straight away. Keeps everything locked in grid, you know, nice, nice and clean. Then you can do stuff like synth arpeggiators or bring in your own drums, whatever. So uh, you can double click these markers, copy that. Um, so something I need to do is dither. So here it is here, um, quantize, we recorded 24 bits. I'm putting down to 16 for uh, thank you very much for the share, Abigail Pride. You're like you're like the mum gang these days, supporting everybody. That's a that's a massive compliment, I think. Um, so let's look at Christian. Where are you, Cree dog? None for Christian yet. Let's make one. Come on, Pro Tools, load, load, load. Okay, and we'll call it album one. Because who knows, there might be millions. And we'll call this zero one. Loch in, L Loch in Live's anniversary. I think that's meant to be Loch, Loch in Live. <laughs> Let's fix it. <laughs> Okay, and this is important. 16 bit bit depth, that's what we just chose. We record in 48, but we send stuff around in 44 to make sure it works. On other people's stuff and offline means it'll export it as fast as it can rather than doing it in real time and making you listen to it. We've heard it, so we're just gonna bounce it out like that. Right, what's next? Big Kenny Whiteside. Same again. We'll just copy this text up here. If you Whatever you select, that's the start and finish point that'll export. File, bounce, mix. Paste it down. We'll put this one 0, 2. Bounce. Easy, 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 easy. And then this is out of my hands. Then I'm trusting this to other people to make amazing stuff. Which is weird for me but also exciting for me. I'm all about sending people opportunities, helping growth, all that stuff. Hold some happy scene. Hold some happy scene with the youngsters coming up strong. That's the vibes. Okay, let's make sure we get to the very beginning. So this is number four. If anyone has any questions while I'm working away, please feel free to ask. This is exciting. This is like planting a seed, but you don't know what you've planted. <laughs> it's like a secret. Um, okay, this is number five. Road to Kirkabost. It's 
it's a bit like it's a bit like helping helping someone uh, helping someone grow. It's really nice this. Uh, who do we have? Oh, thanks, Darren Brown. What a legend! What are you doing today, Darren? Anything fun? Bounce. Um, have you ever used a Line Six M Five? What's a Line Six M Five? Model or pedal? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I've got one of them. I've got one of them, but it's not that one. It's a different one. It's like a, a longer one. Do you know the name of it? Okay, my one isn't as small as this, but it isn't as big as this. Uh, so it's not the M5, it's not the M13. Is there is there an M9? Yes. So this is the one that I have. This is the one I have. I just picked one up. Going to use a few things for gigging the goil. Yeah. So, um... I've never used it for guitar. <laughs> I use it for my synths. And the reason I bought this one is because it has um, stereo input and stereo output, which you don't have much. Pipe band scores today, not much crack. That sounds like crack to me. I'm working with bagpipes too. So yeah, I use this for my old synths that don't have effects on them, like the Juno and stuff. However, I lent this to Boydy my friend Boydy, and he's rocking with it at home the now. He's making he's making some stuff. So um, I think that's that for this just now. That's this. Um, what's it called? Session sorted. So I'm just gonna upload that to Dropbox while I chat to you guys. Let's put some music on. Let's jam it. Um. Nice. Do you have any patches for it? It'll be for the synthy stuff everywhere. A few delays. No, I didn't make any patches. I was just jumping on the presets and, and I'm going for it. I'm afraid. I did, honestly, I, I think I only had it for about five weeks <laughs> before it got borrowed. <laughs> I'm okay with that though. That's no big deal. I'm okay with my pals borrowing stuff to create things. Biggie David Small. <laughs> Tremendous patter. Always the way of it. This is where it's at, boys. This is the after party. This is the session. So, see with the Facebook live stream. It does automatic um, subtitles to what I'm saying, and that is the funniest thing. Like I've got, I've got it on my phone here, and it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's not very close, but sometimes it's amazing. See what the fake Facebook live stream it does automatically. <laughs> close enough. I need to get that TC Helicon fixed so somebody can actually use it. Two hundred pounds worth sitting there. What's wrong with that, Abigail? Is it just not powering on? Is it the power supply? I'm sure you've told me before, so don't hate me for not listening to you properly. So that's probably a thing. Uh, exports, Christian. By the way, this 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 uh, this EP is available at We Studio Records on Bandcamp. If you're loving it, a nice wee present for anybody. 
I know Ian at the guitar workshop can fix some pedal stuff. Um, if not, do that for an amps would know. I think it's a fault, but it's way out of warranty. Is it just not powering up? Or is it just not sounding good? Powers up, the button does do button things anymore. It just spins. Oh, the button doesn't do button things. Let me have a look. Um, I need to change the sample rate so things might get funky for a bit. Are we good? I think we're good. Um, so, TC. Oh, Nabby's, Nabby's selector button doesn't do anything more either. Oh. Then if you two, if you both have that problem, other people have that problem. Helicon. Let's have a look. Is it the Helix you have? Which one is it, Abigail? Do you remember? Um, it's the blue one, not Ian's. It's blue, can't remember. Having a look live. Oh, maybe. Is it this one? It's just harmony effects, isn't it? Yours did more than that. Live sound. There's voice live, is that it? I need to slow down because there's a delay between you writing and the video you're watching. The vocal live. Thanks, Lewis. Choices here. Is it any of these? Is it this one? And this is the selector. I'm guessing it's that one. We're going to go with it. Selector switch. Let's see what's happening. The voice live, the blue one. Yes, yes. Okay. Selector switch. Broken. Hi, I fixed. One morning, can anybody hear my harmonies there? If you want, we can. They were mixed very subtly. <laughs> it's very handy being the guy that gets to mix your bad singing. Hmm. 
So the kick for this music you're listening to is actually a cajon. Um, with, with a kick pedal on it. I just EQ'd it really cleverly. I added a sub harmonic to it to get that low end. Hmm. Let's try Reddit. Reddit always has a good answer. Pretty broken dude. No, that's not it. Interesting. I would just hit up support. I would just hit up support. I bet they'll help you out and they'll be awesome. Service. Frequently asked questions. Why is my selector switch not working? Uh, it's probably better in the hands of someone that will actually use it. Got it! Oi, oi, oi! What's the crack? Dropping in for a wee hello. The sunny Dundee. Hope all's well out west. I will have to catch up with the piping episode yesterday. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it's probably better in the hands of someone who's there. Yeah, I read that. Um, you, you should use it. Um, let's go selector. Selector, isn't it? It's not selector. Nothing. Bother signing in. Here's your page. Here's your page, Abigail. <laughs> Go sign in. Hook yourself up. So I'm gonna load up Pro Tools and do some mixing. If anyone's wanna hang out for that. I think we're pretty much finished. Ian Wilson's album I think I've got I think I've mixed that one I think I've only got two more to mix um, but Boydy would have good crack with it yeah Boydy stole mine so maybe if Boydy gets yours he'll give mine back there's a baddie white option <laughs> <laughs> okay what does that sound like <laughs> does it sound good or does it sound batty white What would what would Ian's music be described as? What genre? Scottish pop? <laughs> Dance pop? Scop? Scott up? Uh, synth pop? Synth wave? Scottish synth wave? Scottish synth pop? Yeah. <laughs> Scottish synth pop. There you go. That's a genre. That's Jane's fiddle. Got a girl. Me on the double bass. Anyway, let's see what this sounds like. That's, that sounds great to me. That EP, you should go buy it. I'm not working on uh, Christian stuff anymore. Um, Ian Wilson. Barry White sounds excellent for the whistle. Interesting. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, yeah. Okay. This was one of the very first ones that we did. Called you up again last night. I don't think there's much to do with this. I'm all alone. Under the street 
Yeah, gives me chills too. I was dead chuffed with this piano part. Forever silent with your aching heart Cause you've been ruled by someone And fooled by someone you love Cause I know now What you gonna say now I've traded all the love I've been given For the life that I'm living with you Lovely part, man. Was a mission trying to do it all on one acoustic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Davy boy. Thanks for trying. Big, big gaps, but it's easy in the piano. Trust your mind. Trust your heart. I've always been here from the the the, the Facebook subtitles though I said thanks for trying baby boy <laughs> and I think I like thanks for trying baby boy better than Davy boy I really like this mix already. I think there's only a couple of things I'm bo that's bothering me. The S's on Ian's voice are a bit too piercing for this kind of song. So I'm gonna get a wee de and just tame them a bit. There's low, low mud in the strings that can be cleared up a bit. Thanks for the like, Ian Scott. Thank you very much. That chord's a bit late. <laughs> yeah, piano's too late there. And it's just that part. I think I like the rest. So I'm just going to tame that before I forget right now. So it's late from there. So I'm just going to pull it down about 3 dB. Fade it down a bit more. There we go, then back to gentle. I like them noises. I'm just pulling the volume down of these instead of um, taking the velocity down because I like the velocity. I don't want to compress it because you get funny effects. Um, Gary, what's the crack? I was just checking. I have downloaded Ian's previous two singles. Is this from a forthcoming single, EP, or album? Um, album. It's an album, Gary. Yeah, two singles from the album. Thank you very much for downloading them. But these are some of the other tracks from the uh, said album. I'm not going to do much. Okay, what I am going to do is sort out the strings, the EQ and the strings. I know I've traded all 
the love I've been given for the Hmm. Solo that doesn't work because it goes to where oh, I just can't hear my headphones. <laughs> Ah, Magic will definitely be getting it. Support the Wii Studio artists. Oh, what a legend! Thank you very much. Replaced by a computer again. Yep. Again. Just like a McDonald's checkout assistant. Trust your mind, trust your heart. Right, let's DS the voice. I've always been here from the start. I like waves as DSer because it's just simple. Loads loads of others do way more stuff, but I just needed just to take a little wee bit out. I just don't want it to be sharp and distracting. Um, thank you very much for the follow, Vicky. Thank you very much for the follow. So I've got a three second reverb here. I think what's bothering me is um, too much too much low end mud and it wasn't the strings, it was the reverb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an EQ before the reverb and I'm gonna take out the very low end. I'm also gonna take out the high end because I think That'll help get rid of the, the S's I was having problems with. Thanks for the like, Vicky. Hello. What are you up to? Are you having a fun day today? What day is it? It's a Wednesday today. Yeah, fun Wednesday. Trust your mind, trust your heart. I've always been here from the start Cause you've been ruled by someone I think there's a, there's a bit of the piano I'm not liking you love. That Cause I know Just clean it up a bit Put a low cut in it what you Frequencies we don't need And I don't have a Compressor on the piano, but I might put just a gentle compressor on the piano. It's just bark, a wee bit barky. So if you see here, I'm just looking to see how much it brings it down. And it's just bringing down the barky bits. That's kind of what I'm You've looking for. You've been ruled by someone And fooled by someone you love Okay, it's working well. Cause I know there we go. Just taming what I needed to tame. That sounds nice. Auto release. I don't know what it's doing, but it sounds natural. So I'm going to leave it. So I've got ozone here, but what I'm going to do is bypass it just now. And I'm going to put uh, some stuff I like to put on. Um, there's a strip here for a mix bus. I'm choosing the Neve. Now there's uh, For the Slate Digital com Came out with these three compressors I like using all three I have to go to the loudest part Which I think is around here And I'm just going to let each of these compressors Just compress it a wee bit <coughs> Excuse me 
ratio two. And then I'm just gonna try and get to that one. There we go. And I'm gonna do that with all three of them. I don't like to over compress, especially in the master bus. There we go. Now they're all bouncing at one. That's what I like. And here's another one I like. It's um, virtual tape machines. Just seems to warm it up a bit. Makes it a bit more real. Now, what I'll what I'll do once I've finished this, I'll export this without ozone and I'll put it into another project with all of the other tracks on the album apart from the two singles that are already out in fact I'll take the two singles in and I'll use them as references but what I'll do is I'll master the rest of the tracks to 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 fit each other so when you listen to the album it sounds when you go from one track to the other it sounds like it makes sense and everything sounds nice and I'll take my time to master it but just now um, I'm kind of happy with this. I'm going to send it to Ian like this. And what I can do is... By some I'm going to take these kind of light bits here. I'm going to play it in a loop. And I'm going to go to the master assistant. And I'm going to click uh, low intensity. Because this is a gentle tune. And I'm going to let it do its thing. It's like an automatic master. Um I do that with all kind of demos just to get it out the door and then it makes me separate mixing stage with master stage and then when I get it into mastering um, I've got this reference of the mastering of what this computer did so it kind of gets you a wee bit there sometimes it takes you in the wrong direction but you know you recognize that as well but just for just now I can send this to you and go how do you like this mix and he won't go it's really quiet because it's not being mastered so it's like a stopgap. So let's let this assistant do its thing. Hey, Georgie, I am doing this on PC. I'm doing this on PC. I used to have a MacBook that I recorded with when I was out doing live stuff, but I changed that to a... I changed that to uh, what do you call it? Um, Microsoft Surface, like a touchscreen thing. That's pretty fun. And I used to have an iMac to do video editing, but I upgraded to a PC for that too. So I'm just checking what it's done. I can look at the equalizer. It's saying we're missing a lot of stuff over 10 kilohertz, but there's not much in the track above 10 kilohertz. And it's tamed the the low end. Fair enough. I can't really hear the low end with the headphones on. And I'm looking at this maximizer to make sure that it doesn't come down too much in these hard parts. You get a wee bit of clipping or distortion. Or... Um, Keith, I am honestly blown away by yourself and your own sound guy in and our own sound guy in Seagate Studio. Totally amazing um, how you know what all these wee buttons and dials do. <laughs> Mesmerizing. Oh yeah, I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to have a chat with you, guy, with your with your sound engineer, Gary. You should you should hook us up. In fact, I'd love to go visit visit his studio at some point once this is all over. If you if you'll take me for a cup of tea, if he's if he's up for it. Um, Biggie David Small says any excuse for a gaming PC. Yeah, well they do have nice graphics cards in them. Well. Nice for the time. They're getting a bit old now. Uh, Georgie. Oh, nice. Watching people produce fascinates the hell out of me. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. When I started, we didn't have Twitch. and We only had a few. We didn't even have YouTube. So, yeah, we had to read. And imagine. <laughs> if you were lucky, you get a VHS tape of someone teaching you stuff. In fact, when I was maybe 12 or 13... Um, I was learning the piano and I was learning um well let's 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 do it together. Let me show you. I was learning like uh 
Um, let's see what this brings up. Yeah, this looks like it. So traditional Scottish vamping to, because I learned traditional music first, and to 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 play along the piano with fiddles and accordions, they expected you to be very steady for dancing, and it was a snooze fest really. Let's see if he's doing it. You can vamp up. No, that guy's amazing. <laughs> I could just show you. Let's see. No, he's really good too. I'm just gonna play the piano. So. It's out the door, so I'll play hard. So I'll turn this so you can see what I am. So this is what this is what you learned. There was like But then, but then um, I got a, a VHS tape for um, how to how people in Canada were doing it. So how people in Cape Breton were, were playing. And it was like a million times better. And it was really busy. It was, it was kind of like this. It's not, I'm, I'm not perfect at it, but I kind of incorporated it. Same chords, but play different. So I was mesmerized. I was mesmerized at, um, I was really mesmerized at this playing, this Cape Breton playing. And my dad was a fiddle player and he got this tape of, I wonder if I can find it. Um, wonder if I can find it. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, that's a defo Keith. His name is Graham Watt. Great guy and always goes the extra mile for us. Ah, that's cool. That's important. Would be great uh, to get along to Seagate or go for a coffee and a blather. Right. It's a date. It's a date, my friend. Not perfect at it. Plays it perfectly. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, what a difference the whole sound between the two. I'm glad I'm glad you heard it. This is a Shure SM7 and it's not, it's not really made for being able to hear all the way over there. Uh, hey, 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 Kyle, what's the crack? Nice milk carton on the t-shirt. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Lando Norris. My boy, my boy came, uh, he came, um, third. Not, oh, what, what is the name of that? I'm trying to find the name of that Cape Breton piano accompaniment. Um, I know she played with Natalie McMaster. If you guys could see my... Uh, who plays piano with Natalie McMaster? Let's type that. I love going off on tangents like this. Uh, da, 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 
da, da. Let's look at our let's look at our wiki Wikipedia. Let's see if it's if it's here. Who she plays with? Oh, it's annoying me. I really want to know. As soon as as soon as I hear the the name of that lady, I'm gonna be like, of course. It was it was a, a staple of my youth. I I watched this VHS tape a million times. See, it's hard because Natalie McMaster also plays the piano. <laughs> Mad good uh, musicians, Cape Breton and all that area. Tracy Dares, yes. Okay, we're there, we're there. Is this on? Okay, uh, it doesn't have the actual VHS tape, but we've got some stuff of her playing here. Listen to this piano playing. Watch her go. This, right, you don't understand, this blew my mind when I was young. Listen to how much she's doing. Both hands. The bass is all over the place. When I was young, I was just doing this. To go from that to this, I was like, unreal. Something else, eh? So that was 94. I started learning the piano maybe around then, actually. This is that piano. Go. This is my jam. This is my young jam. That, that little upright piano, I guarantee you, would be red hot by the end of it. All these hammers just going against the strings flat out. That wood, that wood will be hot to the touch. Not a single wrong note. Not a single note at a time. Just pure, um... Pure plane. I wonder if she's doing anything now. There you go, there's Natalie McMaster and Tracy Dares. Hey, this is in Glasgow. See, um, see old footage like this? The, the pickups that were in fiddles, or electric fiddles grated on me so much when I was young but see like now heating back I love it, it just reminds me of like Hebkelt <laughs> don't know why good tunes too Good old 20, 240p, everybody. We, and we thought we thought we were good. Uh, we thought we were good. It, it had been it had been perfected long before we arrived, everyone. Wow, what a tangent! Uh, that was your fault, Georgie. <laughs> that was definitely your fault, Georgie. If you're still here, how was your stream? We, I saw you were streaming today, I think. Trust your mind, trust your heart. 
I kinda get round. I kinda get my head around how people don't make mistakes. I live in a. Yeah, me too. I make so many mistakes. Um, uh, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. It was okay. Only a short one today. Was it GTA? I I didn't see your streams yet, but I saw um, I saw the headers of the videos when I flew past. I could tune these vocals, but I'm not going to. I think the imperfection is see the humanity of it. Like, ooh. You know what I mean? Working my way through the story mode. Ah, nice. Well done. I think I played the story mode how many years ago when it first came out when did GTA come out hey thank you very much for the like Addy I know you like don't worry um, when did GTA first come out I had it for the PS3 2013 there we go wow that game's old now still doing well I'm just going to have a listen in the speakers, that part, um, just because I can't hear the sub frequencies in my headphones. I've got a big sub under, under here, so I can feel it in a second. You've been ruled by someone and fooled by someone you love cause I know Cool. Okay. Uh, so the the sub frequencies of that kick drum were mental. Um, yeah, it's been it for years. Still an amazing game. Yeah, it is. I don't think I ever finished it though. So yeah, the sub frequencies of the kick drum were madness. So I've actually cut everything below. I'm gonna go forty five because when I was listening back there, it sounded quite nice to have the kick, not like more like. And then this sub was sitting underneath it. But it was just a wee bit too subby. Like a car, shake your car doors kind of subby. So what happens is we've got this... All right, Barnacle, how are you doing the day? How's used? And then the sub notes sit underneath, which is nice. You can't hear that in headphones at all. Trust your mind, trust your but you can with this big speaker system in front of me. Just want to make sure I can hear the sub. I can hear them both in headphones. No. Cause I know now what you want to see. Lovely. Um, commit. That sub was messing up. Every time I loaded it up, I think it was going to like a default patch I didn't like. Uh, beautiful as ever. Tried flinging a bit of sunshine in your direction. Hope it landed. Let's see. It looks kind of yellow here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, blue sky. That's enough of that. <laughs> I know I seem like a weirdo sitting inside in the dark during the day. But I promise you I will do stuff outside after dinner. I may cut my grass. I think that's on the cards. 
we we built a um my father-in-law and I built a swing set and a, what's it called a slide for my 4-year-old's birthday screen screen glare is the devil yeah actually it's not even these these screens are actually glare resistant the, the problem is is that if i open this up see look how look how weird that looks now like it's all like blown out it's like a what do you call it the apocalypse <laughs> It's like, whoa! It's like, oh, look, a mushroom cloud. A mushroom cloud. Can anybody else hear their teeth? <laughs> it's enough of that. Where's who, anyone got the anyone got my 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 emote with my hand over my head, my eyes? That's what we need for this. Uh, so let's just check, keep it nice and clean. How does it start? Takes too long. So we're going to go to clips and see see these here. I'm going to go to file, save as, uh, no now two. And then I'm going to commit these. Reason being, if I open up this project in 20 years time and I don't own these plugins anymore or I've got a new operating system where these plugins haven't been updated to work on I'm sitting here with audio rather than MIDI for a plugin I don't have anymore so that's why when I finish uh, we studio records from the moon <laughs> from the face of the sun so I've got this I've got like this this angle and then I've got this one for like funny stuff, like let me, <laughs> but I'm not funny, so it doesn't work. I was just thinking it might work there. The face of the sun. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's quite good. It's the stream deck. So I've got the stream deck and I've got like, uh, I've got this this cool thing, like starting soon. I've got like be right back. Uh, I've got the chat one. That's good because then the chat kind of hangs it up over there. I've got the live one so you can see my screen. I've got this camera one, so you can see everything. Oh, you can see my desk. You can see my other desk. And my, my racks and stuff. Fancy, yeah. Um, I've got this one where... Um, I, I, I made this one quickly because people just kept coming in during stream. So I'd just be like, boing. <laughs> and then, boing, I'm back. So, you know, but I, I know it does so much... Oh, Barnacle, thank you so much for subscribing. Have fun with the emotes. Spam away, my friend. You deserve it. Spam away. There you go. <laughs> Yahoo. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, I've got the stream deck and I know it does way more than than what I'm doing. But it's, it's on the list of how to get good at this. How to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, Gary, what are you saying? On a wee sidetrack from what you're doing just now, Keith, I was listening to Face the West, the Tunes album, and totally tuned into the synth sounds you were talking about in a previous episode. Oh, I like that. I like that. You're doing your homework. Doing your homework, Gary. That's cool. You can come to one of my gigs any day, pal. Hashtag guest list. VIP. If you guys are listening to my synths, you can come hang out with me. Um, you're a technical genius. Well, that's not true at all. <laughs> right, let's let's make this shorter. And now the piano's a waveform, so we're safe. So we'll need a, just like a wee beat before it starts. And I've made this sub uh, a waveform too, so let's just have a listen to that. By someone you love. And the zips. Cause I know now what you are. Okay, so I'm going to commit these two as well. Just so it's all waveforms. It just means I can't change the notes. I can't change the settings on the synth anymore. Just is what it is. But I've saved it in an older version, so I'll be able to pull it in from there. But otherwise, it's it's pretty much done. And we can get this to um we can get this to Ian. And I think it means we only have one more to do for Ian Wilson's album. And I've also finished Abigail Pride's album. We are just waiting for one guitar solo, I think. 
to add in. Otherwise, it's all been mixed. Uh, maybe some tweaks here and there. I can't remember. I'll have to check it out. And then what happens then is we, myself and the artists involved, we have a listen on different things, final checks. We all good, we all good, you good, I'm good, you good. And then we send it off to somebody to master that we pay to get a different set of ears or um, I'll master it myself, just depending on the project, depending on the funds, depending on if I want to see if it sounds different to what I would do. I don't know. It's just always learning, always experimenting. So the final one for Ian, I think. Actually, before we do that, let's have a listen to them. Let's have a listen to them. I'm going to get this... Uh, I'm going to get this popped up to Ian's Dropbox folder so he can listen to this whenever he wants. Um, no, no. Oh, great. I put it in the wrong folder. I put it in Christian's folder. No, I didn't. Where did I put it? What was the last thing I exported? Mm, I hate it when I do that. See, Pro Tools, what it used to do was it used to export the file to the last folder that it was exported to. But now what Pro Tools does is it tries to export it to, yeah, to there. But it's not here. Weird. So let's bounce that to Ian's. Um, looking forward to Abigail's album. The single is brilliant. Happy days. Happy, happy, happy days. Abigail's album is probably one of the best albums I've ever heard. And it's good. It's good that we're working in so many different genres at the same time. You know, Abigail's doing the country rock stuff. Ian's doing the synthy pop stuff. Face the West is doing something altogether <laughs> mental. <laughs> so it's good. It, it's like lots of different things covered. Uh, cool to learn about the process too. Nice, 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 nice. So let's open up Ian's folder and have a listen. Let's go through the tracks. See where they're sitting. So I'll make a playlist. Run. Reasons why. So there's some here that I can't remember if we're doing or not. One, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. It's got six there. And then seven, eight, yeah. Let's try overgrown. Light. Are we doing life? Not doing. No nice exporting. Amy. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Right, guys, let's let's have a listen. While I export up the other one to Dropbox for Ian, which is now ready to go. There's something about you 
One of the Jar. Didn't uh, Winamp used to have, uh, what do you call it? Like a display thing. Visualizer. Got to go now. I'll pop in again soon. All right, Georgie. Catch you soon. That's an old school. <laughs> Give me a migraine though, let's try this one. That's better. So this one has very recently got the acoustic drums. I just love them. It sounds surreal. Look at you with your emotes, Barnacle. Look at you with your emotes. What a legend. These vis vis visualizations are mental. I feel like I'm falling into it. That's Boydie on the guitar, everybody. Callum McLeod, a.k.a. Boy D from Pete and Diesel. The master of an 80s solo, by the way. That's amazing. Thanks, Gary. This would be great at a festival, huh? With big, um, big speakers. Yeah, I'm happy with that mix. It's one. It's one in the bag. Let's see what the next one's like. Well, this one better be finished. This is a single. But I think it's nice to listen to them in... In, in a... Sequence like this. Trippy. You don't get this at the... The DI public bar, do you, Barnacle? I take that back. This is exactly like a DJ said at the DI <laughs> exactly in fact if I turn this off I'll get all flashy check that out that's cool it's party time peeps let's go spooky that face My poor camera trying to deal with the white balance. Are we five years too when my head's a mess? You know what? This is the very first thing I've made with a drum machine. Believe it or not. So I've used I've used loads of drum samples, but I've always played them. This is the first time I sequenced it with a drum machine. Got inspired by my mate Colin McLeod. He's, he loves drum machines. And I was like, I've always found them a bit naff. I could never get them to sound good enough, but... A bit of care and attention, you can get it quite groovy. So what I did was, it was quite clever, 
there's parts of this drum sequence that I changed to 3 4. It's on 4 4 just now. 2, 3, but sometimes it goes. It's my head in the morning. <laughs> There we go. That's called Run. That's already out. That's it as a single. Feel free to nab it. We Studio Records. I can find the reasons why changes in your feelings lay last night. And now I know. Better off alone. I can find the reasons, reasons why. This was Ian's first single. Um, and there's an incredible video made by one of my best mates. Sam Hurt and it's hilarious you should go check it out you should go check out the video it's hilarious the story is basically is that so he's, he's he's an electrician he really is an electrician and um the video starts off he's at his job and he's daydreaming being a musician and being over the top and being, besi being beside like a shore doing a guitar solo and stuff when did you start working on this project um i don't know now maybe two years ago that's a year lockdown a year before that yeah two years ago That's Abigail Pride doing some harmonies, if you listen carefully. Thank you very much, Gary. Ian's material is brutal to listen to. Is Ian a local boy from up your way? No, he's not actually. He is a, a mainlander like yourself, however. He's from the West Coast. So he's from Dunoon. Well, near Dunoon. Dunoon is like a second home to me. Um, when I became friends with Heron Valley, um, most of them are from that area, so... So all of this came from... I was in a band called Horo. Amazing band, amazing guys. Really talented. And we were playing in... Um, we were playing in Italy. And the next night, Heron Valley were playing, and I met them in Italy at a festival. And they thought I was absolutely nuts, I think. But I did become friends with them all, and then out of that came the chance to play with Heron Valley, the chance to record them, the chance to do live sound. And uh, Ian was so in Heron Valley first, and still a pal of the band. So yeah, we just decided to start doing this. 
he was um he was in another band and he wanted to do stuff in his own but and I was like hey I want to do some cool synthy stuff let's let's work together so he came up a few times we were writing this separately funny how it works isn't it funny how it works out now we're best buds I really like this song. This is the most recent one we've done. And I think one of my favorites, huh? I feel broken from my head to my toe. And fast forward 20 years and I don't need these pills to feel butterflies. It don't feel like home. Love to hear the background stuff. Love Horror and Helen Valley too. Nice. These visualizers were all the rage back when everyone was using Winamp. Remember what comes next? I have to learn all these tracks too. I'm playing. I'm playing with the end soon. Maybe I'll practice on stream. <laughs> you guys can help me out. Double chorus. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Nice one. I'll get the kettle on. Get coffees all round. Coffee, everyone. Everyone, coffee, sugar, milk. Sit down, cup of tea. You want a biscuit? We'll have a we'll have an afternoon and play some music. I think we're going to get Ian on the Great Highland Electric Guitar for this. <laughs> the Great Highland Electric Guitar. <laughs> Is it tartan? <laughs> ah, funky. I let loose. I was I was in a weird mood when we made this one. <laughs> I was having a funny day. Uh, on a serious note, how the hell do you remember all the various material with different bands? <laughs> um, the answer, Mr. Robertson, is uh, I don't. <laughs> I definitely do not. I do try my best, though. <laughs> there was one time we were doing a gig in a place called Walsenburg in Colorado. I was new to the band and I had a, I had a cheat sheet, basically an A4 piece of paper on my keyboard with notes and chords and set lists and times round and everything. And it was outdoors and the wind just went and my papers just went bye bye, I'm out of here. They ended up in Arizona and uh, I had to go from like Zero to a hundred. Hashtag improvising. Got there though. It's going to be tough now, but normally you just do normally you just do a few gigs, and then your your hands kind of learn. <laughs> Once your hands learn, like you, you learn to trust them. Like your hands want to go down that way, and you're like, "Fire on, pal!" <laughs> like, have a nice gig. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, that was correct. Happy days. 
That's what I find anyway. It's like Jedi, Jedi sense, you know. That's me on the lead guitar and the Game Boy. Hope you guys like it. Quite proud of that. I'm so glad I made something like this. This is this is a brave choice of style. Styles. Messing around with Big Crusher and delay machines and Cool. Proud of this one. And back into it. What does this sound like? It reminds me of something from my youth, but I can't picture, I can't. These visual visualizations are great for this. Perfect. Oh, nice. Nice. I just make a music video out of this. So this one was written about Amy Winehouse, actually. I'd watched the documentary about her. I broke my heart. I think there was one point where um, she'd achieved everything. And then she went to her best pal. She'd won awards and everything. She went to her best pal. And she said, isn't this, isn't this boring when you're sober? And she just hit the massive heights in it. She was ruined. I broke my heart. So that's that's where the lyrics, that's that's where the chords and everything came from. I think it was like a day or two after I watched that. Reminds you a nice wee change of direction for yourself. Brilliant to keep up challenging the musical mind. Minds me a, a wee bit of the Buggles. What's the Buggles? i have to check that out. I love the drums here. Oh, do you hear that synth? <laughs> That's the Mo grandmother. Very proud of that. Video called the Radio Star Song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean now. Thanks, Gary. Hello, Fiona username. It's your favorite. What a good album this is, eh?
Okay. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do big. And on to the last one. And after this, I'm going to call it a day. I've got um. I've got to help my friend Ines Scott make a make a video, or just finish off a video I helped him make for going home for dinner. Okay, vocals are a wee bit low on this one. Tweak that. Yeah, everything else is fine. It's just the vocals are a wee bit hidden. Do you guys agree? Brave songs. Really brave songs. It's hard to be this open and honest and have songs with space like this, especially on your first album. You've been moved by someone. Thanks, Barnacle. Cause I know now what you wanna say now. I've traded all the love I've been given for a life that I'm living with you. You. Maybe the vocals aren't quiet. Maybe it's just everything was quiet. think there we go so that's the stuff we have for Ian Wilson so far so far so good I think so far so good I'd be proud of that that was my if that was my first album <laughs> I would be so proud of myself. <laughs> but I got a really good album, my first one. My first album was really bad. 
It wasn't really bad. It was just, it was just early. Um, the big chief piece. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, really lovely, great album. Cool. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there with that. There's just little tweaks. And I think I've got one that needs a lot of mixing, which I'll do in stream. You guys can watch. I'll do it in stream. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to head now. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to go help my mate Innes Scott from, uh, from Pete and Diesel, but more importantly from Face the West, the original Face the West member. Absolute legend. Um, I loved your first album. You have to have loved my first album. You're my mother. You can't say I didn't really like it, Keith. Can you? Um, yeah, catch you later, Dave. Um, I can't wait to play some music with you soon, pal. Only a few weeks left now, isn't it? That's exciting. Uh, Barnacle, uh, look after you for me. Uh, Shinty boy, thank you for following. Um, thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for lurking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will. Um, so, the situ peeps is that I can't stream my regular time. Um, until next Wednesday. However, that does not mean I'm not going to stream. It just means that clients have booked clients have booked me to do work. Can you can you believe it? So um, I'm going to be uh, busy at the normal time of two p.m. Um, but I am going to be going on at random times. So if you make sure that if that you follow on Twitch, you've got that bell or whatever it is. Um, let's see what it is. I don't even know. Let's pick someone random. Aye. Well, make sure you follow. And I think I think it's a bell. Let's see what the bass guy's doing. Aye. This, this bell here, make sure that's on. And whatever time I go live, um, you guys will see it. And it'll be a random time. And you know what? I think it'll be good. It'll be good to test another time because I'm sure there's lots of people that have jobs through the day. <laughs> Not like us. And, uh, where they can't hang out with me in the afternoon. So maybe it'll be early. Maybe it'll be late. Maybe it'll be not at all. <laughs> maybe it'll be the entire time. 24 hour stream. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Right. I'm gonna, I want to stream. I want to uh, I want to raid someone. Do you guys want to help me? Do you want to help me raid someone? We'll say a quick hello to someone. Make someone's day before we leave. I like going to the music one. Guan, 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 Guan. I'll be starting back at work next week. Oof. Like in person, like really in work. Where will we? Um... I want someone with less than 50 viewers with something interesting. That's the rule. Piano would be good if that's possible. Okay, um, can we search piano? <laughs> hey Fiona, how are you doing? We're just finished, you just missed us. But uh, I'm streaming random times uh, for the next few days, the next like five or six days, so maybe we'll, we'll catch you at a random time. Um, what would we go for? I kind of want to just go piano. Who's playing the piano? Um, past videos browse music show all music streams for you that's what I'm looking for hey it was working today so missed the stream okay well I'll do a later stream and we'll catch you there we'll do a later stream another like tomorrow <laughs> you up for it we'll catch you later tomorrow um this guy's composing music with a piano. Let's see if this is this is what we're looking for. But with the patches. So if you just hold like a closed chord or something. Hamburg based that uh, professional composer and sound designer. That, that you trigger with, let's yeah. say if you play like a C I'm gonna go follow first. That the low C also triggers the basses and, and, and that stuff. Let's see if he says hello. We studio records. He does Thank say you so hello. much for following. Yeah, yeah, we're, oh, my ninth. Um, 
viewers are about to make your day, mate. Yeah, I mean, that's like a, it's like the orchestra. <laughs> right, we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Yes, it is. Have fun. Have fun with uh, Alex. Because this, this package gets like, I mean. Peace out, peeps. Stay and say hello to this guy. He seems sound. Give him the, give him the sound emoji. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs>